What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're talking about Saw X in this video here again today. We got big news today from Bloody Disgusting in an exclusive saying that Saw X is set for a Halloween 2023 release with Kevin Gruder directing. Now if you recently listened to one of my previous videos that I did like four or five days ago, I told you that the rumored director name that I had been told was Kevin Grudert. Now it's been confirmed. Kevin Grudert, we know, was responsible for directing Saw 3D, I believe, and Saw 6. So he's also worked on editing a few of the other entries as well. So with him back in the helm, I know a lot of people are excited about this because I know there are people out there that I've seen message me, say that they think that he understands how to do the John Kramer narrative for whatever reason in terms of, I guess, if we actually get the narrative we think we're going to get, which is a narrative in which John Kramer is in the POV. There's also many people thinking that this is going to be a send off type of movie for John Kramer if this ends up being the prequel that many of us are expecting with Jigsaw back in the focus. So going off of this article really quick. It says that Darren Ballsman's reboot Spiral from the Book of Saw pulled in $40 million worldwide last year, reviving the franchise and paving the way for more sequels. Another brand new Saw movie is indeed in the works with Bloody Disgusting exclusively learning that Kevin Grudert will be directing the next installment and it's set for release on October 27th, 2023. Lionsgate and Twisted Pictures will re-team for the next installment of the billion dollar franchise. The untitled film will be the 10th installment in the Saw franchise. Like Bozeman, Kevin Grudert is no stranger to the Saw franchise. Grudert directed both Saw 6 and 2009 and the later and later saw the final chapter in 2010 aka saw 3d along with other horror movies jezebel in 2014 and jackals more recently in 2017 he also edited saw through saw 5 and jigsaw they go on to say while lines getting tw and twisted pictures are keeping the plot and characters on the wraps at the time we're told fans can be assured that the new film will catch their heart, capture their hearts and other bodily, <laughs> other body parts with all new twisted and genius traps and a new mystery to solve. Franchise producers Mark Berg and Oren Cowell said we have been listening to what the fans have been asking for and are hard at work planning a movie that saw aficionados and horror fans alike will love. And part of that is giving the reins to Kevin Grudert, director of Saw 6, which is still one of the fans' favorites in the entire series. More details will be revealed soon. Now, I will say this. Again, I've already done like two videos at this point talk talking about some rumored things that have been coming over from the Saw subreddit regarding the user Vink360. From what I've gathered, I do want to say this. I don't think Vink360 actually has a full-fledged spoilers that they are able to disclose about the upcoming movie as much as it seems they are in the know about certain things and word of word or getting word of things that are coming because right now going off of them and how they seem to have like established themselves as some type of reliable person for information over on that subreddit the narrative that people think we're going to get is involving jigsaw tobin bell's character of john kramer traveling to another country exploring something else going on in said country and if for, for whatever reason this of course would end up leading to them going back to the states because we know we have the events of saw three through the final chapter and so on and so forth the movie in and of itself i know i've stated uh, previously, it sounded like it was going to be set between three and four, but I think the narrative we could get again, this is not confirmed. The narrative could potentially throw Saw X in between the ending of Saw and his capture at the beginning of Saw 2. Now, of course, people are going to hone in on the fact that this is becoming overly convoluted. At the end of the day, these movies continue to happen because people continue to turn out and see them. <laughs> I'm not saying that Jigsaw or not Jigsaw, but that Spiral, of course, made a lot of money at the box office, but it made enough to garner attention to the fact that people still have an interest in this series. And a lot of people do go on and say that they think that, that the character of Tobin Bale's Jigsaw, John Kramer, should not have been killed at the time that they were killed, which was Saw 3, going off of how many people think the series has declined over time. And a lot of people think that if you make a, make a Saw movie without Tobin Bale, it's not going to work which is what many people say is why Spiral didn't work. There's plenty of reasons why I can tell you Saw, the, the Spiral movie did not work. Could have been marketed better, wasn't released at the most appropriate time, I would say, in terms of people and their willingness to go to a theater. Uh, you know, Chris Rock might have been an honest big turnoff, even though he ended up doing quite fine in the role of what we got. With Saw X, I'm hoping to just see something that does, I guess, dive into a little bit more of that psychological aspect that is played up so well in those first two movies. Because if Kevin Grudert is back and this again is going to be something that's very John Kramer centric, 
maybe we get something that's more along the lines of the quality of those first two movies which i know many of you like me will agree are some of the best or the that's the best pair of movies in this series the original and then saw two i will even go as far to say saw two uh is over time as i continue to rewatch this movie because i really didn't rewatch the saw movies like that growing up they were just movies i would turn on here and there but i was always in the know of when a new one was coming out to check it out so with saw 2 over time that's evolving in my mind to me considering it one of the best horror sequels that's ever been created i sure i'm not alone on that thought but i would love for saw x to somehow be along the lines of that quality give us a unique twist that many people will say some of the best twists again came from the original saw and then saw 2 which i would agree with as well because over time you then were expecting this thing where you got a twist that was not that was kind of like connecting to what was going on prior to what came to the twist, kind of rationalizing everything. It came, it's become a staple for the series. So hopefully with, with Saw X, this John Kramer centric prequel, it could end up being, I'm curious what this twist could be. Maybe it has to do with what leads to John Kramer going back to America, because if he actually is going to have a film set outside of the States, what is it that happens while he's out of the States that prompted him to return to America? I've seen a Reddit user, I can't think of your name, but you know who you are if you're listening to this, even speculate that maybe John left America for a while trying to start up a new family and for whatever reason it didn't work out. So then that that is what brought him back to America and then ultimately led to him being captured at the beginning of, of Saw 2, so on and so forth. And the rest of the series played out as is with, we know, Hoffman and everything else that came, came after that. So we'll see what happens with Saw X viewer and on again put out that tweet a few days ago stating that the movie should be filming in a few months out in mexico i believe so we'll see what happens again it's not officially announced that tobin bell will be back that's the expectation though that they're going to try to go back to bring tobin bell back and do this prequel centric narrative that might act as a send-off movie for him let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications and never miss a video in the description i'll have a link to my social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video